Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, four and a half months ago, roughly, Microsoft has released 24H2. And, well, 24H2 has been a nightmare for a lot of people. And it's now slowly getting to a point where it's actually better. And, of course, this was to be a big update. It is technically a big update internally with the features that have been added. It doesn't feel or look like it when you're just running Windows. Most people see very little difference between 23H2 and 24H2 on their PCs. And, yeah, indeed, uh, the visual aspect of what changed isn't that big. Um, like I said, it's internally. But my focus and my attention comes to why is it that it was so difficult to have 24H2 working well? Why did it have so much issues, so many issues in there? And it makes me think, you know, 25H2 is going to come later this year. Um, what's in store for 25H2 if 24H2 is kind of a nightmare? Um, how big of an update? We know there's going to be quite a few new features in 25H2 eventually. Will it be one of the big updates? Will it be a smaller update? I don't think it will be as big. But I, you know, it, it kind of scares you because you see all of the problems that happened. And you just want to, you know, focus. I think Microsoft needs to sit down and say, okay, here's what, what went wrong in 24H2 and the reasons why things went wrong. Why is it that, you know, we had so many blockers? I mean, of all the Windows 11 versions that had blockers, I think this one was the blocker win. I mean, it had so much, uh, so many problems that they just stopped updating a, a big chunk of PCs with it. And just now, the rollout is really starting to, to be a broad update for most people. Um, I've seen more and more comments in the chat, uh, in the uh, the comment section about people saying, "Yeah, I've got 24H2. It was pushed to me. Um, you know, had nothing that I could do." And uh, no, because um, Microsoft is, if your PC is compatible, pushing it and forcing it on everybody now. So um, yeah, it makes you think. It makes you wonder, man. Come on, what's going to happen at 25H2? People are going to be scared updating because there's too many issues that potential issues again um, you need to you need to, to sit down and look at all of this uh, because I think 24h2 we can probably call it um, for its high number of issues a little disaster and it shouldn't be this way especially with all the info that they have um, if you look at the feedback hub once again, a lot of the issues were already mentioned and already there before, and it wasn't really tested that much in the Insider Rings. This is the other thing about the Insider program that I'm complaining about. It doesn't seem like Microsoft is taking the time to test anything anymore in there. Well, if you don't test it with a bunch of people in the Insider Rings and, um, and, and seem to have rather bad internal testing, you're, you're asking for trouble every time there's going to be a new update. Um, I don't know. It, it kind of scares me for 25H2 coming later this year. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.